Hi, I'm Chris Burr from the Bird's Eye View. I come to you with a preview of the fight of Steve Cunningham and Tomas Abinick coming up this Saturday. Great fight, great rematch. I'm excited for it. I mean, this is this is huge for the heavyweight division, especially with, you know, you got two top guys. You got Steve Cunningham, a former cruiserweight champion, Tomas Abinick, fought for the title, light heavyweight champion, cruiserweight champion. Great rematch. I think that the style matchup is, is like perfect. You know, you really don't know what you're going to get in this fight. Steve said he's going to change. With Steve's style, he's long. I know Steve. I spar with him many times. He, he, I call him Stretch Armstrong because his arms are so long. Use his height and reach. Well, not so much height, but reach. He has all kind of reach. He got a true heavyweight reach. Keep him at bay. And that's the big thing. Keep him at bay. Use his legs. Take that step back and use his angles. I mean, constantly use angles. Keep that jab in his face. I know the commentator in the first fight said Steve shouldn't keep his jab out there. Yes, he should. He should jab ha literally halfway. I mean, jab from here to here. And keep him at bay. Use the, ring, use the range and, and, and be complete through 12 rounds. You fight Tomas Alamek, who's a natural heavyweight now. Big guy. In the first fight, Tomas was the little guy coming up from light heavyweight to cruiserweight. And, and really, Steve was the bigger guy, naturally bigger. Now, he's the naturally bigger guy, Adamek is. So, with Adamek, he going to bring the pressure. If he knocked him down three times in the first fight, coming up from light heavyweight, what you think this time? As a heavyweight, he going for the knockout. That, that's why, he t in my opinion, that's why he took the fight. I'm going to knock him out right now. Instead of knocking him down and having a close fight, because the first fight was very close, could have went either way, even with the three knockdowns, Adam could be coming straight ahead. And one thing about Tomas Adam got a good right hand, and he constantly pursues it, and he sets you up. And Steve drops his jab a lot. If he dropped, like in the first fight, if he dropped that jab, he'll get countered with a right hand every time, and down goes Steve. And, and Steve's my boy, but I'm just being honest when it comes to Breaking down the style matchup, it's going to be a great fight. Like I said, Steve got to be complete for 12 rounds. Complete. Hands up, movement, keeping the range, constantly boxing. Adamic, constantly putting the pressure on him. Getting Steve into a, 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 a matchup of just trading. Trading back and forth, which is not Steve's game. He got 12 knockouts in his 24 wins. So it's not... Like a like he's a big puncher. He can punch a bit. I spar with him, like I said, and he punch a little bit. But he got to be a, a true boxer in this fight. Great matchup. Great for NBC. Free TV boxing. Boxing back. I'm telling you, the glory days of boxing is going to be great. Hey, check out the bird's eye view. And check me out later after the fight where I'll, I'll break down the commentary also. Thanks a lot for your time. Check out the bird's eye view.